So I cook a lot of different foods. Um, I love to cook. One of my issues, however, is that I don't measure. I just season until my ancestors tell me to stop. As far as washing meat, I never used to wash meat. I would just throw it in the you know, fryer, the pan, whatever, the oven. She got so upset one time, like, well, you, you gotta wash the chicken before you put it on the stove. Yeah. So ever since then, I said, all right, well, you take care of it. Well, he, he's only cooked twice in our entire four years Did together. Did he wash the meat? Um, but, and the one time he, he didn't wash the meat, <laughs> I washed his meat, yes, pause. <laughs> it's not a pause. It is a pause. I'm supposed to wash my meat. Okay, relax. Sometimes when I cook, I wash the meat, and sometimes I don't. It really depends on what kind of meat it is. Dominicans wash everything, especially meat, because there's like this fear that you're gonna die if you don't wash your meat. So I wash my meat. Well, okay, I wash some meats. Things like ground beef, ground that you can't wash, because that's like weird to be able to do that. I just hope that the heat will kill off whatever germs that are there, but a steak, fish, Chicken, especially chicken. Chicken, you it's like a whole ordeal with chicken. Like you gotta soak that thing, you have to put some lemon in it, you gotta put some vinegar, you gotta kill that chicken smell from it. I, I, and I read that actually washing the meat, like washing chicken, for instance, is actually not a good thing because... It spreads the germs all over. You're blah, spreading blah, blah, more blah, blah, germs. I don't believe that. Growing up, I never saw anybody washing meat. No one ever told me to do that. Well, I know why I wash my meat, because growing up, your, your meat comes from like the farm. It's not like packaged in a supermarket, you know what I mean? Like you need to wash it off. That's, there could be a lot of things on it. Well, that makes total sense. I always wash my meat before I cook it. Hmm. You never wash the meat? Sometimes it depends on what meat is. You didn't, what? Did, you I didn't would. Put, put it like it underwater? Because you cook it. And I think that has also to do with that the meat in Germany is really good. And I probably didn't yes. think about how bad the meat is. Yeah, I always wash, I always wash my vegetables. We in America just wash everything. Kevin doesn't really season his food very well. Um, so it, it literally is just salt and pepper. That's not seasoning. That's like the main thing that you do to kind of coat the meat or whatever it is you're cooking. So it needs to have a little adobo. Goya adobo is a must. The yellow lid, the red lid, the blue, doesn't matter, whatever. But adobo needs to be in there. Everything I make has garlic powder, lots of garlic powder. Okay. Sometimes some cumin. Um, but if the meat looks the same as it came out of the package, it's not seasoned at all. So my meat is always nicely coated and has like a really good flavor. But I mean, I, you want the meat or vegetable or whatever dish that you're making to be the star of the show. You don't, the center, you like, you don't want it to be, taste like everything to taste like adobo, right? Mm, I don't know, it tastes <laughs> good, adobo tastes good. All so right. it makes everything taste so much better. So I, I, I think I use more spices yeah. and her food is more bland. Yeah. But now it's better. <laughs> you said yes. I can't believe you disagree with it's me. It's true. It's bland. I I can't handle food that has too many different flavors. I think my staple seasonings are salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Nothing um, else. Well, no, I salt use other pepper. you know I use other ingredients too. But when she cooks, she uses everything to get the sink. <laughs> I mean, it's because sazon, let me explain. Everything. Dominicans make many different dishes with the same kinds of seasonings. That's just the way we cook. So we use salt, pepper, oregano, we use cilantro, onions, peppers. Those are like the main ones. Sometimes at his house, there's no like red pepper or like there's no onion. And I'm like, how do you not have onion in the house? Like that's something that we never not have onions. We won't have milk for cereal because we cook a lot of the things that we but you'll eat. Have 10 onions and peppers. But we'll have 10 onions and peppers. Kevin and I take turns cooking. We alternate every other day. Everything we do in the house is 50-50. And when it's his turn to cook, I just say a prayer, and I just say, please don't make me sick. You know, everything's gonna be okay, and I will be fine. And have you been fine? You have, Yeah, right? for the so, most part, I've been see, okay. I haven't watched the meat at all, so. I know, I know. Please don't remind so, me of that. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, okay. But that's why I like my meat well done. <laughs> Cooked, charred, nice and hard, <laughs> so that I know whatever germs are in there have been killed off. Except when I go to a restaurant. I don't know why when I go to a restaurant, I'm okay with it being a little bloody, but like at home, that thing has to be like rock solid cooked. Mm. He bloody doesn't, rare. He doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Still mooing. Still mooing. Um, I like 
stuff like raw even sometimes, mm. but mm. it has to be to make sure that yes, it passes any like uh, government or. How's you know, that worked out for you? Good for the most part. No, it has I'm, not. <laughs> you always get sick. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's all relative. Okay. To me, it's just like a part of. I, I I don't really call it sick. I have to just, you know, just flush out my sure. system. Yeah. So he flushes <laughs> out the system a lot. Yeah. And that's why I wash my meat. He thinks we overcook everything, which we do. But it's because, like back in the day, my mom's my grandma would cook on a fogon, which is like this round thing. It was outside and you had fire and you put the food, you used like sticks, like if you were making like shish kebabs, it was a struggle. So they may, wanted to make sure because they were getting the own meat, like killing animals for it and making it themselves. So, I mean, if you don't have the proper cooking tools, I'm sure they didn't have like vinegar and stuff. They made sure they overcooked everything, which he has a problem with. He even overcooked steak, steak the other day yes. and I think it's because Maybe of me. Accident. He has a steak medium rare. And I, when we first started dating, I used to have my steak well done, and now I have a medium. Hockey puck. Hmm? Hockey puck. Yeah, I used to burn. I used to ask for steak, like, hey, can I have a well done steak, a little burnt? And he'd look at me like, what's wrong with you? When I did, it was rare. Wait, you you rare say, when, like, yeah, when he would, when he would take steak, I remember the first time I think we, um, we went to market. Market, yeah. And um, he got a steak tartare, and I've never seen someone eat steak tartare, like, like, Raw meat. Yeah. He said it was he, nasty. He said he was gonna throw up, and now he eats steak tartare. Now I'll have, I'll have steak tartare on top of my steak. It's so good. I love that. So my family's German, and we ha we eat a lot of German food. Like that's one of our favorite cuisines to eat. So there's this dish called sauerbraten, um, and it's like a sour meat. We marinate the meat in vinegar for like a week, to two weeks. And when it comes out, it's got this like sour taste to it. Um, Tastes like make... meat and vinegar. <laughs> like kind of, but it's it's really vinegar. good. Um, no, then we it's... make a gravy out of <laughs> make a gravy out of the sauce, and that's like what really puts the cherry on top. It's, it's really good. She doesn't like it at all. She thinks it's really weird. It just tastes like sour. It is. Yeah. So the very first time that I went over, I think like the first actual dinner that I had with Tyler's family was for his birthday, and. Um, that's what his family made was sauerbraten. And it's a sour German meat and they made mashed potatoes and they made a sour gravy. And then they had like the purple cabbage with a sour sauce, potato pancakes with like applesauce and sour cream. And I was just like, <laughs> what is this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be hungry after this. So I haven't cooked Dominique any um, Jamaican dishes that I know as of yet. Hold the chicken feet, hold the cow feet. Anything else? We're good to go. Honestly, I think I might cook, cook him chicken feet because, you know, people sleep on chicken feet. I really, I, I understand that the aesthetic of it isn't that great. Like, I get that. But it's so good. Like, it's so good. So now I'm on a mission. Well, you're gonna be cooking that for yourself. Okay. And, you're gonna, and it's gonna be sitting there looking at me because I ain't gonna touch it. That's like eating chitlins, kind of, sort of. No, no. I would rather eat chitlins in the cow foot. Chicken foot. I'd rather eat oh, chicken foot, cow foot, cow tongue, all of that. I would rather eat chitlins before I eat that. We'll see. Okay. So I think a German food plays with temperature a lot. So we eat, for example, a lot of like potato salad, but then the potatoes are cold. Mm -hmm. Or pasta salad, and then the pasta is cold. Mm -hmm. You don't like food that is supposed to be warm in your mind, like pasta or potatoes, no. to be cold. No, if, no, <laughs> no. If I'm gonna have a hot meal, I want everything on the plate to be hot. Yeah, that's so we I, would eat, for example, as a side, the potato salad, and that's cold, and then meat. And and I, there, I, there are people that I've seen that eat potato salad as well in the black community, and I, it's still wrong. But we play with, or we even mix like dishes where one part is cold and the other one is hot. Like, for example, pie with ice cream. Yeah, but that's, that's dessert. That doesn't count. Oh, We're talking okay. about dinner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. even like breakfast, you yeah. guys will have, and it's so odd. You'll cold have, sausage. You have cold sausage. Yeah. 
And then you'll have hot boiled eggs. <laughs> yeah. And then jelly. First off, Delicious. those don't match. Yeah, but you just have like a whole feast basically. Yes, but it's just like your stomachs are broken. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for watching and comment below other topics you want us to discuss. And make sure you subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel.